Hi, my name is Elizabeth Halsey. I'm the Dean of Admissions at East West College and I was excited to talk about affordable medicine and what we can kind of do for ourselves. Um, I've been with the school since 1993 and the school itself has been around since 72. And we're the second oldest school in the country, um, kind of the first oldest school if you don't count that the Swedish Institute started in Sweden that's in New York City. And I think we have the longest running student clinic of, of any massage school. And the student clinic has always been a very low cost clinic. Um, part of that, honestly, is regulated by the state of Oregon. So the state of Oregon has looked at colleges, technical schools, and made sure that the clinics or what the students are doing for their education is not um, uh, a source of revenue for the schools. So the cost of our um, student clinic goes to um, run, you know, the square footage of the clinic itself. The East West College clinic is probably about maybe eight times, maybe five times really, the size of this room. So it has a large um, uh, reception area. It has a work room for the students to prepare their, their hydrotherapy. The, they have heat packs that they use and they have ice. Um, they prepare little screened off areas. Um, most people who are receiving massage in our massage therapy clinic do disrobe in private. And there's like a little um, pretty chocolate brown fuzzy drape that goes around each table. They get on the table either face down or face up. And then the massage therapist enters a room. So, you know, they're undressing in private. But um, the pra what the students are doing is it giving them their very first opportunity to work with the public. So at the point when our students start doing massage in our clinic, they've been studying massage for nine months. They feel pretty ready. They've been creating treatment plans for six months and working their plans and testing the results. I happen today to be part of the um, uh, the next clinic class that was preparing and they did all their finals today. So I was actually a model in their class. They did a gait assessment, a postural analysis, they came up with a treatment plan, a massage therapist did some work, they rechecked my gait and worked with me. I was working on, um, on upper body rotation because I am a dragon boat racer <laughs> and we do this. <laughs> so they were making sure I could actually rotate and it was such a neat thing to be part of their education. So they'll be the next clinic. Um, clinics are available at East West College from um, as early as maybe 11, 15 and the last one actually goes in um, from 8 to 9 o'clock at night. Um, we're in the, in the um, Rose Quarter right across from the Convention Center so it's kind of a worker bee area. The state building is near East West College, so our noontime clinics are very um, well, well received by all those state workers. <laughs> and they actually, the state workers actually have a wellness planner that helps them with their health concerns. So sometimes they do um, health programs where they tie in low-cost massages through as carrots for, for the, the state workers to take care of themselves. And one of the last things that we did with them is they walked to Vancouver, BC by walking up and down their stairwells. And they kept track of that. And the person that walked all the way to BC got massage. <laughs> they did a lot for the $25 massage. But, um, you know, there's a huge benefit in the relaxation work. Um, we try to narrow the scope of our student clinic to relaxation work although the massage therapists sneak in all kinds of interesting modalities. But what they are trying to do is have that experience with the public. Um, so it's about a clinical hour. Um, they do some intake. <coughs> they talk about the person's health history. And every once in a while, they actually have to turn someone down to get massage. They just are, it's contraindicated for them to receive that much um, circulation in their body. And it, uh, 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 example of that would be someone who has high blood pressure, untreated high blood pressure. They come in, um, they, if they receive a, a full body relaxation massage, it can really stir th 
their triglycerides up and my father had this a deep tissue massage once that gave him tunnel vision when he had untreated blood pressure so that wasn't so great um, a fever if someone has a high fever you know infections pro probably may be present in their in their body and uh, again stirring up by doing some full body massage for an hour is is not good um, so it's a safe clinic as well and um, I would really recommend that if you're looking for some kind of uh, affordable ongoing treatment to, to try to utilize massage to take care of yourself. Um, it can reduce, um, if, you're, if you're moving more effectively, you're able to move your joints, you're able to exercise, it can really prolong um, how long you're, very, you're balanced as an older person, you know, how long you can stand on one leg and just be okay with that. Um, you can kind of shop for a massage therapist there. Mm, once you're licensed, we'll share their information with you. I don't know if you have ever shopped for a massage therapist, but we have people who will systematically see a different student every week for 11 weeks in our clinic looking for a newbie. <laughs> um, we also have a professional clinic. So at East West College, the student clinic is $25, and the professional clinic is $50. So $50 in this market is actually a deal for massage. Um, the people who run that clinic are our own alumni, and they set this clinic up. They wanted to do a community clinic, and they asked um, the school what we did with our clinic during non-student <laughs> student clinic hours, and we said nothing. <laughs> so they asked to work in create this community clinic. So it's been a kind of a grassroots effort from East West College graduates. Um, they use it to bring people into their own private practice, which is appropriate. And we have people call the school, we probably have maybe 20 calls a day, people who want massage. So you know, the, the calls are always coming. So we see if it's appropriate for them to do the student clinic or the professional clinic. If there's some really tough health concerns, we'll really urge them to do the professional clinic. And the alumni that work there have probably been working anywhere from one year to actually uh, eight years. So they're quite experienced as well. We decided to bring them in as employees of the school. So they get to, well, we get the added benefit of these people giving us input into our college too. Um,